Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and this video is going to be a Diablo 4 tier list breakdown of where the different classes sit in terms of how I would rank them in the early game slash leveling experience based on playing a few of the different classes, messing around in the game and different difficulties in different areas and hanging out with all sorts of content creators and getting all sorts of opinions all over the Diablo community. I'm going to lay out some of the advantages and disadvantages of each class and then rank them from best to worst in this video so far for the early game leveling and what we know based on the beta. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so as you know, we have got five different classes in Diablo 4, the Barbarian, the Necromancer, the Sorcerer, the Rogue, and also the Druid, which by the way, if you want to just see a text breakdown, we do have one on the website. I will link to it down below in the video description and also the pinned comment. This is going to be where it is laid out for you to take a look at everything in text form as opposed to this video. But okay, I'm going to rank these from the worst to the best in terms of my opinions so far based on everything I talked about in the intro. Now, in last place at fifth, I'm going to put the Druid. Now, it is possible that the Druid ends up being an absolute tank and a monster in the endgame, but it feels a little bit clunky, a little bit slow, and doesn't quite have the amount of survivability to make up for the lack of DPS early game. So, probably not going to get a whole lot of value compared to the other classes as you are leveling in your initial experience in Diablo 4, but... It, this is it's possible that things will change in the end game obviously i don't want to say that caveat a hundred times but do keep that in mind we're testing from levels 1 to 25 and talking about the beginner stages of the game then for the next one here at number four i would put the barbarian i think in most people's views you've got like your tier there at four and five where most people would put the barbarian and the druid now you can get some differing opinions maybe some people would put the barbarian in fifth and some people would put the druid in fifth and it just kind of depends on who you ask, but these two seem to be the lowest, and it could also be because of melee not being good on them. The Barbarian can feel a little bit clunky and slow to play and struggle with clear speeds because it just doesn't have the amount of ranged damage. You get mobs running away from you and all that, and melee can be a little bit of annoying, but the Barbarian can do a little bit more damage than the Druid, it seems like, and they have a really fun Thorns build that can be insane, but can be a little bit wonky of a play style to play so i would put the barbarian just ahead of the druid at number four and then at number three i would go with the rogue now the rogue does have some really good damage and some good mobility and some good versatility it's honestly a pretty solid choice of a class for somebody that is just looking for like what is the general recommendation where I've got the most options available to me and most play styles available to me? What would be a good class for me to pick? In that conversation, the answer would honestly probably be Rogue because I've played with some Rogues that keep up with my Necro and do an insane amount of damage. Shout out to BGE who wrote an article on our site for the Rogue showcasing some good builds and has some good videos over there on his channel. So I've definitely seen Rogues do well and they've got good mobility and all sorts of different options available to them. So I think they would be pretty solidly at number three for me. And then I don't think there's really much of a debate for the top two. I think it's going to be Sorcerer and Necromancer, no matter who you ask. Mostly, probably 90% of the community is going to place Sorcerer and Necromancer at one and two for the early stages of the leveling experience and what we know so far in the beta. Now, for me personally, I would probably put the Necromancer number two. Now, that's going to be a hot take. There's going to be a lot of people that would say the Necromancer is number one, and it's just insanely cracked because you've got some different blood abilities that synergize and do ridiculous damage. You've got the skeletons and the skeleton mages and the golem, and you can get this army of like 10 to 15 minions that just completely clear the map for you as you walk through. So Necromancer, definitely amazing. And I wouldn't say that someone's wrong if they put Necromancer at number one. Honestly, I might main Necro when the game comes out because I love the summoning play style and I'm liking what I see from the Necromancer. So it's possible that that ends up being my main, but personally, I would place it at number two. And at number one, obviously, that means that we have got the Sorcerer. Now, I spent a lot of time on the Sorcerer. It feels very good to play. It feels like you've got some good damage without being too squishy. 
teleport is going to be an amazing skill in the game i think especially once you can lower the cooldown and in the end game and yeah i think teleport is going to be an absolutely bonkers ability if it's not changed I, I love hydras i love the burn it's so amazing for elites and and boss fights and all of that world boss you just keep dropping your hydras and your meteors or your fireball or uh, firewalls and whatnot you can burn down everything and do a bunch of damage over time so you can move around you can do damage you can summon minions with the hydras that are amazing you have legendary aspects that give you more hydras you, so really there's not a weakness to the sorcerer it's just an absolutely awesome class and i think it's going to be very popular on the launch of the game and i'm probably you know in terms of what i'm going to main when the game releases it's, it's, it's going to be either Sorcerer or Necromancer or Rogue. One of those top three. I, I've always, like, I was a Demon Hunter main in Diablo 3. I had, like, 3,500 hours on the Demon Hunter in D3. So the Rogue could be a choice that I go with for sure. I would probably lean towards the ranged style. But honestly, I like being a spellcaster as well, and I love summoning. So it's going to be one of those three. If you forced me to start the game today, like, if the game was releasing tomorrow... I would probably main Necromancer, and I would try to maximize the utility of the summoning style and master it as best that I can is probably what I would choose right now. But on live, it's going to be one of those three. So yeah, that is going to be the rankings for my tier list so far. I've got Sorcerer at number one, the Necromancer at number two, the Rogue in the middle at number three, and then the definitive four and five, in my opinion, would be the Barbarian at number four and the Druid at number five. Now remember, like I said earlier in the video, I will link down below to the text version of this over on our website, aftershockunited.gg, where you can view this whenever you would like, and I will try to keep this up to date if my opinions change in terms of the tier list as well. But I also want to make sure that I definitely mention, you know, these videos are for fun and we're just trying to do our best with very limited knowledge based on what we have access to actually try and play based on the limitations of the game. So if you have a class that is pulling at your heartstrings, if you have a class that is standing out to you that you are passionate about wanting to play, don't listen to me or someone else telling you what to do based on a tier list. I would say pick the Barbarian, pick the Druid, pick the Rogue, whatever whatever is calling out to you that is going to feel good for you to be excited to play the game. Go ahead and do it because odds are a lot of these tier lists could end up being wrong once we actually get to the end game and we can see a little bit more fleshed out, optimized build and the whole landscape of the game changes. So definitely play the class that appeals to you the most and don't put too much stock into tier lists and opinions that you're seeing around the Diablo community. So yeah, that does it for my tier list based on the beta. If you agree or disagree, definitely let me know down below. I always enjoy hearing the more opinions, the better. And we are always going to be evolving these resources to try and stay as accurate as possible. Also, if you're looking for anybody to talk with about Diablo 4, Theorycraft with, play with, you can join the Discord server down below. We've got thousands of people hanging out and talking about Diablo 4, super active community. And you can also DM me as well. I'm always happy to team up with people and, and help learn the game together and all that type of stuff. So I appreciate you. Remember to subscribe on your way out if you enjoy daily Diablo content. And I will see you soon in the next video. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.